Hey there. I remember one Christmas when I was just a young boy, right after my father had died. My Uncle Al and Aunt Becky came to our house to spend Christmas with us. Now, before I go any further, here's a relevant fact that you'll need to know. I had not yet learned how to read cursive writing, so store that. Well, back to the story. I followed my uncle to his car to help him bring in the Christmas gifts they had brought. He allowed me to make several trips with him, carrying as much as I could in my tiny little six-year-old hands. Well, with each armful, I spotted tags written in cursive that I assumed said Bradley, but in actuality said Becky. My six-year-old mind concluded, my uncle brought me a bunch of presents. Well, on Christmas morning, we gathered around the tree to open gifts and imagine my disappointment when so many of the gifts that I had assumed were for me were handed over to my Aunt Becky. As a six-year-old boy, I was experiencing a gimme Christmas. Imagine for a moment Christmas without gifts at your home. How disappointed would you be? How disappointed would your family be? Or, or how disappointed would your children be? We hear these words all the time in the weeks leading up to Christmas. What do you want Santa to bring you? What would you like for Christmas? Uh, put together a Christmas wish list. The gimme Christmas tradition continues. But here's a thought. Instead of giving gifts to people, invest in them. Consider this. Instead of socks or a tie for your brother-in-law, give a copy of the book that has impacted your life. Instead of a new game console for the family, take them on a short historical-based day trip. Instead of the latest hot toy, teach your children how to bake cookies and, and give those cookies away to neighbors. Instead of buying clothes for your teenagers, send them on a short-term mission trip in the summer. Just some ideas to make the Gimme Christmas simply become Christmas again. God bless you.